morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Hope you have a great day or night. A little chilly here at the moment in Arizona. Today's video, guys, uh, I'm going to try to find uh, a little side of the road special and sell on. Uh, my trailers aren't done yet, so I can't move a lot of stuff. So whatever fits in this truck bed is what's going to hopefully sell today. So looking forward to it here. Hopefully it warms up some and uh, just staying busy and making some cashola. So let's see what we do today. All right, here we are. Got the truck loaded up. It's not fully loaded here today, but it's enough, I think, to get down and dirty. <laughs> when we go and do a side of the road hustle. <laughs> so we've got this loaded up. We've got the cargo net, which came out of the storage unit. Give an idea here, a little long shot of how much stuff we've got in here. It's quite a bit. And uh, we're about to get over right now, set up, and see if we can sell some junkage. <laughs> All right, the beauty of this side of the road special is it's literally not even half of a block from my house. We're gonna cut through this yard in this lot. If you saw it earlier in the video, there's a shrimp guy right there, the shrimp boat captain. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little off-roading over here to get over here. We're gonna set up right here on this main road in this main corner here. And uh, hopefully the shrimp guy brings some people in and we'll bring some people in and start wheeling and dealing. I'm sure this guy's gonna get pissed, dude. What do you think? Nah. Where, well, where's a good uh, spot? On this side? No. Where, where should we set up? Right, I, I'd say right here. Right here? Right here, why not? All right, so we're gonna set up right here, guys. As you can see, the shrimp boat captain's right there. There's traffic here today. <laughs> so let's do this, let's do this. All right, so we're all set up here at the side of the road special. Got all this plenty of stuff. Come on, stop on by. Stop on by, people. We're on the side of the road. Just plumbing, just plumbing. That's meals and deals. We're next to the shrimp guys you can see right here. I got my buddy Rick with me. Rick, say hi today. Hey, what's going on, people? Rick's helping me here <laughs> with the side of the road special. I'm gonna make some cashola, hopefully. Let me guys give you a tour of what we've got going on here today. And uh, got all types of stuff. All right, we got the tools down here, miscellaneous power tools, toolboxes, propane tank, fan, old TV, just the table of goodness, knives, tools, BB guns, cassette tapes, DVDs, Blu-rays, dartboard, got vinyl records, and uh, there's, no sun, there's no sun out here today. It's an overcast day, so it's not going to hurt the records. We've got this little pile over here. Might notice some storage unit finds in here. This majority of this is storage unit finds. Got the nice little ring case here. We got some more mumbo jumbo here. Got some little snow globes. We got this little owl. So, not a big load, but it's enough. It's enough junkage. You know? Who knows? Freshest coffee going. Got all types of stuff in there. So uh, we just got done setting up here. Got BGs. We got everything you need down here, people. <laughs> so now all we gotta do is uh, we gotta post on Facebook and say we got a sale going on here, and uh, we get some people down here, and hopefully we'll make some cash. Hola. All right. So hey, Rick. Yeah. Have you ever sold at a flea market or a side of the road hustle? I have. Have you? I have. You enjoy it? I enjoy it a lot. Yeah. You make yeah. some money. Yeah, it makes some good money. Look at that car. Damn. Okay. So you got to be the salesman when they come over here. Say, it's all awesome. junkage. It's for sale. Name your price. Yep. We're here for wheels, deals, and steals. <laughs> along with one big boat. Make an offer. That's a good location, though, isn't yeah. it? I mean, there's a lot of traffic coming through here. Yeah. Um, for sure. The question is, because it's about what? What time is it? About 130 or so? Yeah. So it's about 130, and uh, just testing the waters here. Come out and stop out and buy. Stop on by, come on. We got <laughs> deals. So it's about 1.30 here in the afternoon. Just testing the waters here and uh, see if we can make any money. That'd be great. Um, the deal today is uh, could hook up uh, Rick with some cash for help me. 
And anything we sell, he's getting half the money. So it's a win-win, right, dude? Absolutely. Win-win. Sit out here, BS. Enjoy the 60-degree weather. And hopefully sell some stuff to some wonderful customers. First customer of the day. Come on and stop shopping. Let's go. Four buckaroos for a wrench. Second customer of the day. Let's keep her rolling. Let's keep her rolling. With the side of the road hustle, baby. Everything is just kind of making offers. So if you see something that you like, let us know. Gorgeous day today. Oh, yeah. It's a little chilly this morning, though. <laughs> well, you wait a few months. It'll warm up. Yeah, right? <laughs> The pawn shop? Oh, uh, I used to. Oh, okay. I saw, the, I saw the jacket. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got anything to pawn, but I got stuff to sell. <laughs> I don't have anything to pawn, but I got stuff to sell. Yeah. Uh, How'd you like I, doing uh, that business? Huh? How did you like doing that business? Um. Uh, yeah, shit. <laughs> All pawn shops are different, but this one here, I worked there. Uh, Two years for the original owner. Then when his dad died, I worked ten years after that. And uh, it's like picking up after little kids. Yeah, right. You know, exactly. Boxes, yeah. Step over. They step over. I step over. They step over. And I gotta come and pick it up. <laughs> ten years of that. <laughs> what was the coolest thing you've ever seen that you wanted to go pawn shop? Huh? What was the coolest item you ever saw that came into the pawn shop? Uh, <laughs> this guy buys everything. I don't care what it is. Trucks, cars, boats, boats, uh, trailers, everything. It's different than all the others. We've got another 13 acres out there in the back. We put semi, whatever. Yeah. So I went in there one day. I looked up on a shelf. Tattoos all over. I grabbed it out. It's a lake. <laughs> and I thought, oh, who in the hell? Was the pro a prosthetic arm or a prosthetic yep. leg? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And I bet it sold fast. He did. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. And he bought stuff in there for. He bought this. Uh, like a Geiger counter, but it it has a big screen like this. Okay. And then you go across the ground, and it tells you, uh, where, it shows you when you put it over there where it's at and pretty much what it could be. Oh, wow. So maybe gold or silver? Yeah. $7,000 they paid for it. No, but you got to be wow. 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 Yeah, it, it was... It's some pretty interesting stuff. Oh, I bet. <laughs> yeah. It's probably nothing like that TV show. What was that? Sorry? I said it's probably nothing like that TV show, that Detroit Pawn oh, or yeah. oh, uh, Vegas Pawn. Vegas Pawn. Well, it was Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars. Yeah. And then there's that. There's a Detroit Pawn. I went up there one time. But, yeah. Uh, when I got up there, they said, well, they're here, but they're, they're not coming out there. Oh. Yeah. I and figured that was a bummer. Yeah. All right, not sure if you can see on the camera here, but it looks like there's some rain in the distance there. You can see the cloud of rain coming through there. I don't know, man. We're going to probably pack it up here in a few if it keeps coming here. I thought I heard thunder. The uh, seafood guy's crushing it. But, uh, yeah, just sold a BB gun to this gentleman here. The uh, Still got lots of stuff. We're looking for some buyers. Come on, buy before it rains. Shop, shop, shop until you drop. Shrimp 
guys sure is staying busy making that cashola. They're gonna up my game. We are in the wrong business, Rick. <laughs> yeah. Look at that shrimp crushing it. Crushing it. Crushing it. Come on, people, stop. I got DVDs, I got Disney DVDs. I got Santa Claus sleeping in a bed. <laughs> so rare and it's, yeah. it's the it's worth the most yeah you know, I made probably three grand off of that stone that I found and then had this ring made so you just had a little piece cut off that stone and then yeah because when he goes oh there's nothing on the outside and blah 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 I said okay well can you know can I have it he's like yeah take it home oh. I, and, wow yeah I paid my mortgage in three months <laughs> nice yeah, that's awesome nice, yeah. What does something like that cost them to get made with the silver and you get the, the... Well, I know I wheel and deal with people when it comes to it. Yeah. You know, I find people who are desperate, like on Craigslist and offer up and shit, mm -hmm. who need money bad. And then I go, or broken pieces, and I go get it. Yep. Um, they're not, and when they're realizing, oh, the silver's crap and the silver's broken, the silver, not realizing the stone that's sitting in there is worth a thousand times what that silver's worth. Okay. And they don't know. Yeah. So then I take advantage of that. So I swapped... I swapped one stone that was about half the size of this to have this ring made. Wow. I said, here you go. That's the ring. And he was freaking out. Oh, that's he cool. He was so ecstatic. <laughs> it is what it is. It's that's just, awesome. My wife hates it because... <laughs> They're know, just beautiful looking. I mean, yeah, they yeah. just... The well, colors... She, just... She's on to it now. She's like, oh, is that... You know, I'll buy a bunch of stuff. And she'll be like, is that mine? <laughs> sure, honey. <laughs> And then she turns around and walks away and doesn't realize the amount of crap that I've bought. Yeah. You know? So do you sell like at the flea markets? And no, 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 no. It's most of it's just for my own private uh, okay. crap, and then um, I hold on to it. All right. No rain as of yet, but we're gonna call this a day. And uh, only on here a couple hours. Did sell some stuff, some vinyl records, some tooling. Sold the propane tank from that last unit. That's a plus. So. Uh, Sold a couple rings out of the jewelry case. A couple knickknacks. Nothing crazy. Didn't make a small fortune, but, uh, you know, this is kind of a happening area here. And I think if I can continue to come out here, more people will come. We need to start investing in the shrimp business. Right, dude? Shrimp business is where it's at. Yeah, shrimp is where it's at. Shrimping, shrimping. Shrimp boat captain. So we're going to package this up and uh, get it all stored away. So this guy that was just talking... Uh, was actually a really cool guy, man. Um, look at the rings on, on his fingers and his, his wrist, man. That stuff's worth a fortune. Um, he was talking about how uh, the higher-end ones were from the Bisbee mine that he was able to grab. And he just had some interesting stories and uh, just a, an all-around cool guy. Could have hung out with him for hours <laughs> just shooting the stuff with him. So he's uh, kind of a skilled guy. This is what he does. He's also... Uh, part native so he, we were talking about some stuff that he flips that are native it was just mind-blowing um you know this reselling business is there's so many ways to do it you know you can you can sell eight dollar items on ebay in volume or you can you know find little pieces like this guy does and sells them for a thousand dollars a pop or like he was saying um not sure if the video caught it but he did sell a piece for like thirty two thousand dollars which is gnarly so uh this is what i love about selling locally you know just it's the characters Really cool stuff. He uh, he popped on a propane tank and some records, and he was he was good to go. So it was a fun time today. We were out for a couple hours and uh, just had a blast. First time is doing this, just setting up on the side of the road, and I'm gonna do it again. You know, two hours. We uh, sold about forty seven dollars worth of uh, merchandise there, so uh, gave Rick half the money and uh, walked away with about twenty three dollars for two hours, about an hour and a half worth of uh, just sitting out there. But it, it just it flew by. Um, I put an ad on Facebook and some people came from that, but you know, I, I think it's just consistency is, is what it is. And, um, 
you know, obviously, you know, I don't want to make this a, a true habit where it's, you know, only a couple hours to make 20 bucks. Um, one of these days I'm going to hit a spot and it's, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be awesome. So, uh, appreciate you guys watching today's video. Next time I'm out of here. Peace. Vlog. 